All right, I've been, um, I put the uh, attenuator back in and I've been putting in the modules one by one. And every time I put in a module, I check the uh, voltage rail, see if it crows bars anything. And uh, everything was working fine until uh, I put in one, this module right here, and uh, both <laughs> both the plus 18 and the minus 18 crowbar, which was interesting. So I took it out, and um, there are some tiny, tiny, tiny little, tiny, tiny little uh, tantalum capacitors. These are one microfarads. 35 volt, one microfarad. It's pretty silly little things these days. You wouldn't probably use those. Anyway, uh, I replaced the two tantalums with uh, one microfarad ceramics. And I figure it's good enough. Uh, and it'll never go bad. And so that one's in there now. So I have uh, all of these modules in. And one module here. I've got five more modules to plug in. This module's plugged in and it's good. So I've got five more to check. And uh, we might be getting close to uh, turning this thing on, seeing, uh, seeing if it works. Make sure everything is uh, goes where it goes. I don't know where that goes. Anyway, we'll figure it out. All right, all the modules are in and I'm getting plus and minus 18 volts. So it should be ready to go. Uh, I looked at all the uh, wiring and everything. I think it's fine. And so uh, uh, if we go over to the spectrum analog, so I have the uh, uh, output going into the, uh, into the spectrum analyzer here. So let's uh, get it to focus first. There we go. All right, let's see here. All right, so 100 megahertz, boom. Whoa, it's got a lot of distortion on it. 200, 200, 300, 400, 500. So yeah, that seems to be working here. Let's do a stop frequency of 500 megahertz. All right, 100 megahertz, 200, 300, 400, 500. Yeah, look at that. All right, so 150. 50. Perfect. So the switches are all working well. Um, let me turn the uh, attenuator. I guess that's 10. Oops. It doesn't turn easily. Yeah. It's a little bit, f the attenuator is a little bit flaky, but it does, it does do something. Now we'll go to plus 10. Uh, the amplifier doesn't work. Amplifier doesn't work. Okay, we'll need to fix that. Um, yeah. Well, I'm encouraged. Uh, so at least we have it doing something here. I don't know why it's so, uh, so square wave. Yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look at it on the oscilloscope. See how, see how bad it is. Okay, uh, I'm going to take it out to the oscilloscope here. We're at CW mode, DC frequency, we're at 500 megahertz. Um, and uh, if we look over on the oscilloscope, we get a nice... That's yeah, okay, sine wave. Yeah, that's all right. Here we go. 400, 300, 200, ugly, 100, even uglier. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a wacky. So there's probably some bad capacitors that aren't letting through per particular signals. Um, what's interesting though is the uh, uh, there is a lock uh, LED here that says 0.001% accuracy, and it does lock on. It does take a while for it to find. So if I go to 200, oh that was fast. 400. Oh, maybe it's because it's not a sine wave. So 500, 200 was fine. If I go to 100, and now it's going to be locked on. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think it's probably because it's not a sine wave. Uh, but yeah, uh, so it should be accurate. We'll get around to measuring the frequency and maybe calibrating this thing later on. But it's broken right now. It's still not quite right. There is an unlock condition here. Unleveled, I should say. Unleveled. This is, this is the frequency lock. 
and this is the amplitude lock and right now it is unleveled okay uh, so uh, I'll put for near oh does that push and pull no well, I'm not sure I'm not sure how this works hmm yeah, anyway, it does say unleveled and we're not getting accurate outputs yet. Uh, let's see, this is frequency tweak here. I don't know if that works or not, but we'll give it a try sometime. But anyway, I'm encouraged. Uh, need to figure out why we're getting square waves down here at the bottom end. That's pretty ugly. And why it drops off an amplitude so bad. Yeah, uh, that looks awful. Let's see here, 10, uh, 10 mega. Oh yeah, see, there's some capacitor that's just not letting through the low frequency stuff. Yep, yep, up at high frequency, it's looking pretty good. So yeah, there you go, three, four, five. You can, you can see it's starting to distort even at 300, 200, it's funny. Yeah, I like it. All right, well, at least we have a starting point. <laughs> uh, our power supplies are up and running now, and it is doing something. The phase lock loop divider thing seems to be uh, operating fine. Um, and uh, do we get any output level here? I don't think I. I don't think it shows any output level. Yeah, the meters just uh, crub are down. I think that's this this unlevel business here. It should be showing us um should be showing us something there. All right, well, progress. 